If you've watched any one of my videos, you would have noticed that I'm a fan of watches that don't tell time. It's always a great conversation point when somebody happens to notice your watch and wonder how it is that it could tell time. I have a couple of these watches in my collection. As a matter of fact, I wanted to get this one for my birthday earlier in the month, but alas, it happens to be April and the IRS is knocking in my door asking for my tax money. But don't you worry, those ducks will be mine. And I've always loved this scene from Crocodile Dundee where he looks at the sun and impresses his future shoddy, his future wife, by tricking her into thinking that he's able to know what time it is based on the position of the actual sun. Of course, five seconds before he actually tells her what time it is, you see him looking at his cohort's watch to find out what time it was. And as a professional virgin, I've always wanted to replicate this trick. And I now have the opportunity with these fake watches. It doesn't matter if you're wearing this ambush watch or this knockoff timeless piece with no innards or if you're one of these virgins that has a watch tattooed on your wrist and here is the best method that i found to replicate that particular trick from crocodile dundee where you're able to tell somebody what time it is without having to have a watch that works now as i mentioned before these are great conversational pieces and this does involve a little bit of subterfuge that some people might consider to be a little bit too ballsy but the method is very very simple you're going to notice when somebody looks at your watch. Whether this is gonna be in a social situation or you're in a bar, you're gonna notice somebody that looks at your watch because it's one that stands out, whether or not it doesn't have a face or it's empty or it has ducks. And the moment you notice them looking at your watch, all you're gonna do is casually pick up your phone and pretend to text somebody. While I'm doing this, all I'm doing is just taking a note at what time it is. Now it's inevitable that if you have one of these weird watches that somebody's gonna ask you at this point, What's up with the watch? How could you tell time on that? Now, of course, do keep in mind that you've peaked at the time. Right now, it happens to be 3.24 and you go, oh, you could actually see it in certain lights. I don't know if you could look at it in certain lights, but right now it's 3.24. And of course, at this point, the person is inevitably gonna look in their phone to verify and be surprised when they see that it is in fact 3.24. Now, this is a situational thing and it's gonna depend entirely on whether or not the person decides to ask you about the watch. The best part is that if it doesn't happen, and they don't happen to ask you about the watch, well, it's nothing, it's a non-trick. But it doesn't hurt that when you see somebody look directly at your watch, you just pull your phone out, pretend to text the most natural thing on the planet and put your phone away, obviously peak at the time, remember it. And now if the conversation happens to arise within the next couple of minutes, you're gonna be able to time it directly and know to tell them a farce. This is great with one of these style watches where they get to see directly through the watch and into your wrist and see that there's actually no moving parts to it. Now you could play this up however it is you want. You could play this up as uh, some sort of psychic feat where you're able to know what time it is. But what I like about this is that you have a super simple, somewhat ballsy method to replicate one of my favorite scenes from one of my favorite movies. I also suggest checking out the Pig Cake Magic Academy where $5 a month gets you access to over 1,200 videos going over card stuff, coin stuff. You get to become an expert magician with the tutelage and tutorials that are provided on the Pig Cake Magic Academy. Just look at all of the tutorials you get access to the moment you sign up. Now, if that's not your thing, maybe you should check out my merch store and buy one of these hot shirts. There's a lot of shirts that you have options to get. Might I suggest a short but my dick toss shirt? That's a fun one, especially if you happen to be above six feet tall. Now, one of my favorite things about this particular style of magic is that it's not a trick right? It doesn't seem like you're taking out a deck of cards and you're getting ready to be in performance mode. You just do it. It's situational. It happens to exist organically according to the participant, but no, you've planned it. And that's my favorite type of magic. Magic that seems organic. It seems natural to the actual situation, but has been planned long in advance. Uh, some advice at the end of the video. Oh boy, maybe, um, well, we are talking watches. So I might as well talk about watches. I have a couple here. This one is the one that I wear as of late. Uh, the only problem is that uh, the strap is awful. This is one of those Casio knockoffs. It's actually not a Casio, but it's uh, one of these knockoffs that supposedly looks like it. The battery lasts like 10 years. The only problem, again, is that the bracelet is AIDS. But then again, I paid like three bucks for this. It's one of those watches that you find pretty much inside of a vending machine or one of those uh, machines you get at Chuck E. Cheese. But uh, I got it from wish.com. But this is great when you're walking. It's great when you are going to the gym because you're not gonna damage your Seiko. You're not gonna damage your nice going out watch. Granted, I don't have nice watches. I just have watches that look nice. You don't have to spend a lot of money in order to actually get nice watches. Seiko is a great brand. It's always been a classic watch manufacturer. You don't wanna go for like 
clothing companies that happen to sell watches. You want watch companies. I happen to have my watch collection on this uh, the dead hand and this dead arm. And that's where I keep my watch collection. As you can see, I don't have a lot of watches, but uh, they're nice, right? They look good. You have a knockoff AP, you have a Seiko with a Pepsi bracelet, you have a fake watch, you have a fake watch, and you have a pig watch. So on brand. Especially great when the bitches come over, right? <laughs> and then you wake up because that's a farce. That never happened, that's a lie. Something I fabricated inside of my brain. I see you again when I see you Oh, <laughs>